Hi, I'm Bart Hansen. I'm the owner and operator of CrushLivePoker.com. The following hand comes from our call-in show that we record at 4.45 p.m. Pacific time every Monday. If you want to call in your hand, check out the phone number in the description. All right, so you got a hand for us? Okay. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you the hand. All right. So I'm playing at the bike. Uh, it's 5, 10, 20, no limit. Was and, this like from uh, during the series? During the um... No, this is this is just like uh, last uh, Saturday, I think. Okay. Yeah, last Saturday. Yep. And Bear Jew limps in the uh, the hijack. I'm in the cutoff with aces, and I make it a hundred. This was this like this past Saturday. Jack. This past Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. guess I was at a. What time was this at? By the way. Um, I think this is about the same time someone said you're playing at Hollywood Park. Oh yeah. So yeah, I went to Hollywood Park, and then I meant to. We meant to go to the bike afterwards, but it sounds like the game was good. So 2100 effective. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bear Jew limps in the okay. hijack. I'm in the cutoff with aces, and I make it a hundred with like a twenty-one hundred effective. Okay. And the uh, the small blind, the big blind, and the straddle, and uh, what is it? Bear Jew call. So it goes five ways pre-flop, a hundred apiece. And you've got two aces. Okay. Um, uh, the flop comes king ten six with all clubs, and I have two aces with the ace of clubs. King ten six all clubs, and you've got two aces with the ace of clubs. Okay. And uh, it gets checked to me now. Do you bet here or do you check it back? Uh, so small blind, big blind, straddle, and hijack check. You're effectively in position, right? Yeah, yeah. You could probably go. I think that you could check this back. I mean, I might check this back a fair amount. I mean, when you look at, like, what types of... Well, then again, you do have... I, you know, I know the hijack in the hand. He's sort of a loose guy. I don't know about the guys in the blinds. So I think the way that I would approach this is, like, the looser and more sort of recreational your opponents are, the more able I think you are to bet this. Uh, I don't know yeah. who the guys in the blinds were, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the guys on the blinds were, were pretty loose. I think the straddle was the only guy that looked like he was uh, somewhat confident. But I mean, because you're gonna, because they're gonna the have a pretty loose. Yeah, because they they could have a lot of offsuit broadways here, um, which going to contain a club. Um, if you're playing against kind of tighter ranges, I I don't mind a check back at all here. But when you've got mm -hmm. a bunch of loose guys in there. Yeah. I don't mind a bet. You don't have to bet large. You could bet like 200 or something like that. Just realize the smaller that you bet, the more, you know, you might induce something, but that's fine. I, I might bet 175 to 200 if there's a lot of loose guys in there. Yeah, maybe I bet too too much. I think I bet like 230 or 240. Yeah, I would probably size down or check. I think that is too much. So you check to hero and yeah. you bet 230. Yeah, I think about it was like either two thirty or two forty. Okay, give or take ten bucks. And yeah, the small blind now check raises five hundred more, and he has me covered. And five hundred more, so he makes it seven thirty. Yeah, and it folds back to you. And now, now what are you gonna do? Well, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I mean, the small blind obviously is gonna be. He has to worry about the people who have naturally checked to you, also, right? Yeah, so yeah. he should be yeah. small. Do you have what's the deal? Do you have, do you know this guy at all? No, I'd never seen him before. He just looked like a recreational player. I mean, he really shouldn't have a whole lot of suited hands there calling from the small blind. But if he's yeah. loose, you know what I'm saying? Like, you make it 100. Yeah, he's not yeah. supposed to have, like, suited connectors there in the small blind um, yeah, all that yeah. much. Now, he could have a suited Broadway like Queen Jack, Queen Nine of Clubs, something like that. But even if he has, like, a set or he's got top two here, um, it's 500 more for you to call, like... I very well might call here, and then if it's a total brick and he ships, you can do the math out. You could sort of make an exploitable fold on the turn. But, like, even if he has king-10 here, right, or something like that, like, you have a fair amount of outs to even peel. When you bet 230 into 500, the pot's 730, and now he makes it 7. So it's like 1435 to call. You're getting 3-1 to one in immediate right now, and it would be very, very kind of weak to just fold the aces with the ace of clubs here right now obviously yeah, shipping the, back is pretty bad too i think that's a gross oh, overplay yeah. so i, I would call. I mis misplayed it then why you shipped it back, back. <laughs> because i thought that if i'm calling the flop was that the, the pot's going to be like almost 2000 and it's going to be like 1250 more if he shoves the turn so i thought if i call the flop i'm not going to fold the turn then i might as well just get it in now well if you call the flop 
the pot will be 2000 and you'll have what like 1200 left so if yeah, you bet yeah, on the turn but... it would be 32 12 for you to call yeah but I, I mean i understand what you're saying but at the same time like do you ever think you're ahead here and do you ever think you have fold equity against something those are the two questions. Mm -hmm. Like, are you you're making yeah, this yeah. play as a semi bluff? I assume, right? Yeah. Well, I just figured if I'm not going to fold the turn, then I might as well just get it in on the flop because I thought that I would be putt committed if I call 500 more to where I can't fold the turn for 1200 into 2000. Well, I mean, you're going to be getting about two and a half to one. I actually think you might be able to fold the turn. I'm not saying I'm I'm going to fold the turn myself, but. I like allowing some players to like keep up some sort of like bluff. Even if you say, "All right, oh, I'm going to uh, go call, call." Why not just call and call? You know what I'm saying? Like, say, yeah, like yeah, for but, example. But, 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 but I figure that if he if he does have some sort of a hand with like a big club and a pair in it, then is he really going to fold for twelve hundred more? You know, at that point, then he's getting two and a half to one. You mean like if so he's got say. king queen with the queen? The problem is, is that there's just not that many high clubs out there that people would usually do this with. Like, I mean, is the small yeah. blind who's next to act going to do this with king queen with the queen of clubs? Is he going to do it with queen ten with the queen of clubs? I mean, I guess yeah. it's possible he could do it with queen jack with the queen of clubs. But here, follow my line though, is is that. Yeah, yeah. This probably, if you do want to call off, I, I feel like I would take this into a call call line instead of shipping back. Oh, yeah. I would just yeah, go call so I, call. So... Now, like I said, I don't okay. necessarily know if I would call the turn here. It really depends on the player. It depends on what comes out and it depends on the what exactly the, 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 the price is that you're getting. It seems like you're getting two and a half to one. But I do like mm -hmm. if I were to say I'm going to stack off here then I would just go call, yeah. call. So you ship back over the top all in. Hero moves all in. Yeah, and he, he had uh, seven, eight of clubs. So at that point, I was only drawn to six outs because one of the clubs gives him a straight flush. Oh, wow. So uh, do you yeah. remember what the turn was, actually, by the way? Uh, the, turn, the turn was an offsuit jack. So I assume even if I call the flop, then I can't fold the turn when I pick up a gut shot, right? The turn was a jack? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, an offsuit jack, like... I mean, it's going to be very difficult. Because, like, if he does have, like, King-10... Um, or a set. Well, I mean, a set, like, you only... Re I mean, you've got 10 outs because, you know, the board pair is not good. He's got 3.5. If he showed you a set, you're not supposed to... Well, actually, if you show your set, you've got 12 outs, right? It's probably... Because I forgot about your aces, too, right? Yeah, it's probably pretty close. You know what I mean? But um, I, yeah, I, I so... would just play this as a call call if I wanted to call off... I very well, though, might call and make a crazy fold to some people on the turn. So if it comes like a blank on the turn, then you call and then you just fold when he shoves. But if you pick up a gut shot for more equity, then you call off. I mean, here's the problem. Yeah, I mean, I think that you can I, – I definitely think that, that you can do that. I mean, the problem is is that you have the ace of clubs. I mean, it's it's good in the sense that you – obviously have equity but it's bad in the sense that it just cuts so many of the bluffs out you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. but like you said like you do have equity you're going to have a fair amount of equity against a set the only hand that you really have poor poor uh equity against is a flop flush but he shouldn't have that many flop flushes from the small blind so but yeah if i had called on the flop and you picked up a gutter mm -hmm. you're probably gonna have to call the turn 12 24 36 38 you're gonna one, two, three, four. You're going to be at like two and a half to one. You know what I mean? Something like that, like 12 mm -hmm. outs. And if you had happen to have King 10, like you've got even more outs than that. So you're probably going to have to go call, call, I would say. Oh, okay. But, um, but then if it comes a complete blank, then you just fold if he shoves. A, a case could be made for folding, yes. Um, but oh, again, okay. I would say that you can certainly check back the flop. I don't mind betting. Uh, against really loose players, they're going to have a lot of offsuit broadways. But it's certainly an mm -hmm. interesting, it's certainly an interesting hand. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely put that one up, Brandon, uh, at some point. Thank you, thank you for the call. Okay. Hey guys, if you like what you've seen here, please click on the subscribe button, and you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And if you want to check out CrushLivePoker.com for the first month free, use the code YTA200. Click on the link right there.